video, I'm gonna be demonstrating the proper and safe use of the Powermatic drill press. To start the drill press, pull out that red knob, push it in to shut it off. To lower and raise the spindle, use this three handle lever. To adjust the table height, loosen this lock lever on the left side, then crank your handle and put the table at your, the desired height. And then secure it by locking the lever again. This drill press has a slide on wooden table, right? This is to keep the drill bits from hitting the cast iron table. To insert a drill bit, you take the keyless chuck and you turn it this way and open up those teeth and then turn it back the other direction, make sure it's centered and then finish up by twist these two against each other and then check it real quick. If it's spinning straight, you're good to go. So your left hand is gonna to be to the left of the drill bit. Your right hand's gonna turn on the drill press and your right hand's also gonna operate the handle. At a nice, even cutting rate. You can adjust the depth of the drill by moving this stopper right here. There's two ways to do it. You can spin it like a nut or you can press the button and raise and lower it. You can adjust the speed. This is running at 14, 5, 8 RPMs by spinning this wheel. Raising the speed, you can go up to 3,000. All right, you're gonna back it off. We usually like to keep it around 1,000 RPMs for general drilling. For a small bit like this quarter inch, we usually run it at a high speed. And if we're using a bigger drill bit, we're gonna clamp down the stock and slow the speed down. If you're drilling a small piece of stock where your hands are within four inches of the drill bit, make sure you use the vise. This does get away from you turn off the machine, then step back. All right, always wear those safety glasses. Keep those long sleeves rolled up above the elbows. Secure any loose clothing that may get caught in the spindle or anything else that moves. And always keep it safe.